Hey guys! Before starting the video for today, I do have a small announcement to make. Um, since the episode just released and I expect a lot of fan art being coming from you guys, um, I freaking absolutely adore all the fan art uh, people make for me. And one of the best ways I have to keep up in touch with, uh, with the fans and the fan art they make is by using the glitch that I mean I have. Um, now, uh, for those of you who don't know who uh, what an amino is, um, it's basically a mobile network of communities for every interest uh, and any topic you can imagine, uh, from animes to movie, TV series, and fandoms like Steven Universe that I follow, or uh, web series like Ruby, uh, they also have their own amino. Now, the one I want to focus on is the amino that, is, that there is for Glitch still. You can look for the Glitch Still Amino on your Play Store and download it yourself if you don't already have it. Now, I do have, of course, the Amino here on my phone. I kind of want to show you what this is about. Um, this is just an, an Amino for everything. Every, any fandom you're a part of, uh, anime, games, cartoons, anything you can find. So here we can find the uh, Glitch Stills, for example, in the animation station. You can enter the Glitch Still Amino through there or just by directly going to the Play Store, of course. Uh, so here's the, the feature tab. Uh, like I said, this is an easier way for me to look through all your fan arts and uh, keep in touch with everyone. This is like uh, this is actually a new feature that Amina has. It's, it basically tells you what everyone's doing live, so I can easily join some some random chats and see who's voting, see who's liking posts. Um, some of the tabs here actually are. One of them is an easy, quick access to my YouTube channel, um, so you can quickly check while you're browsing on Amino if I already up uploaded something. And Glitch Stills Lore. This is actually a really nice and useful tab for those of you who are not very informed of the story and all that. You can use that tab to research about a certain character or uh, a trivia or just inform yourself more deeply about it. And on my profile, I actually posted the thumbnail for the animation before even releasing the episode. Aside from that, I usually also post art that I have never posted, like this open collab, which I posted several pictures that anyone can use uh, and draw them as an open collab with me. I usually post that content that I don't post anywhere else on the Amino, like small gifs or just random sketches that I make. Um, uh, from now on, now that uh, the animation is actually released, I'm gonna be uh, drawing a lot and posting a couple of speed paints, maybe an open collab, I don't know. But usually those I post um, on the Amino, so maybe if you're interested on drawing something or expose your fan art to the rest of the community and myself, you can post it there. Um, what I do like about the application is that I'm handling it myself with a group of close friends and we make sure everything is in order. That way I can make sure the community is nice and friendly for everyone. I encourage you all to download the application and look for my profile, which is, I mean, my name is the same as my YouTube channel. Just look for Camila Cuevas, give me a follow, and if you have some fan art, post it. If it gets featured, I'm probably gonna look at it and give it and give it a like, maybe some comment. It depends. Now that I have more time, I'm probably going to be interacting a lot more with it. And also pay attention to exclusive events I make in the uh, in the Amino. Maybe like questions and answers, or maybe an open chat. I'm gonna jump in straight into the rest of the video. Um, maybe if you like the design I made, maybe you can get the T-shirt for it. And check out other uh, digital merchandise I made on the online store. Okay, bye bye.